Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 101 for learning MML system in Django with ReactJS. In this video, we will send message to all of the student at one at at a time. Okay. So what it means here we will sh here we will add a button. When we click on the button, then it will send the message to all of the students. Okay, all of the you can say subscriber of particular teacher, right? And uh, we have mentioned this uh, feature in our uh, uh, in our introduction video we have mentioned that a teacher can send a uh, message to individual student or all the students right so in our previous video we have implemented the individual student message system now in this we will implement the group message you can see right so let's start to do this so first of all we need to add a button and when you click on that we will show a model the model will be similar but we will not fetch the message here we will just show the messages we will just uh, show the form when we submit that it will uh, refresh the component and uh, from from here from the individual student we can see that that uh, someone sent the message right so let's implement that okay so first of all let's open the user list component so lms front end source component user and uh, user list right oh no it, it it will be in the teacher okay so user list here we are let me increase the font size yes so now uh, here we are all student list let's find where is the all student list okay all student list now let's add the button here okay so uh, let's go to the get bootstrap app get bootstrap right and uh, 5.1 here we are model model and let's show the model here let's copy this here we have a button i'll copy the button here right and this will be a send message right and then uh, this is mess uh, let's say group message model group message model right and we will add one more thing float end right so let's see here here you can see that right one more thing button small okay so when we click on this then it should open the model right so let's add a model here copy the model and paste it just after the h5 right so here we are okay now enter this and uh, what what else we need group message model group message model and this is send message to all all students right so send message to all students okay now here we will add a form okay the similar form we have added in our uh, this link okay so the div here okay so let's copy this form and here we will add right so okay and uh, what else we need okay this is message data this is message text all right so label message and message data let's say we need to create things copy and paste here let's remove this group message data what group message data group message data right so set group message data message text will be same right and then here we'll say group message data okay 
and this row dot not row we just need on click form submit we, we will just form submit so form submit right and a uh, group form submit group form submit group form submit okay so when we submit this then this message will be then message group message text uh, group message text let's group success message group error message right so here it will be and here it will be okay so now copy this copy this and paste it here group group send message okay so group form submit right and uh, we don't need the student id because we, we need to send all of the students so append message text and this will be group message data right uh, what else we need group message data or what group message data so group message data okay send message to let's remove this send group message send group message okay all right and uh, what else we need we need two things for the group messages uh, here we are okay so this will be group this should be group group success message group error message right sorry <clears throat> and then if it's success then group uh, let's copy this and paste it here paste it here paste it here right and set message data so what it will be it will be set group message data set group message data and this will be set error message data so set error and this will be error okay so if success then message else error message in the error we will error message will be empty success message will be empty and error message has mess error message has message right so what we are doing here this is not this should not be here it will be undo z yes and here it will be change yes yeah okay so now uh form submit this is for group form submit okay let's see the form so we have we have uh, when we submit this so group form submit then handle change so it will be group handle change right so let's create one more function group handle change so copy this and after this let's say group handle change set set group message data right set message group data target dot name message data this is this should not be message data this should be group message data right so all right uh, what else we need okay so close understood what is this no need for this all right so send message to all the students right so let's see what we have now click here it will show the message okay when we submit this it should save the message and save with all the students right so uh, all the students send message when we click on this it will open the model hmm? all right and uh, uh, we need to change the class uh, 
class yes so class with the class name refresh uh, replace all all right now when we submit this okay when we click here when we add the message it should show it it should show the show the success or error message and save the data in the database so let's see uh, when we group submit then we are message text equal to group say message text message from equal to teacher and we are send group message okay so let's create the url later we will see that where it is going so main url okay so copy this paste it here send group message don't need the student id we just need teacher id save teacher student group message right now let's open the view right so here we are let's see what here we are doing okay so let's copy this okay and paste here the function the function is save teacher student group message right we don't need the student id we just need the teacher message text is coming message from is coming okay now student okay so here what we will do we will fetch all the students students equal to model start student dot objects okay we will fetch all the all the student related to this teacher right so we will fetch user list is where is the where is the user list okay so fetch student testimonial fetch subscriber list okay here we have fetch fetch subscribers subscribe fetch enrolled 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 okay here we are so fetch all enrolled students all right so fetch all enrolled students so what query we are running copy this paste it here okay get query set here we are so what we need to do we just need this query right so let's copy this query and paste it here okay so student course enrollment objects course teacher equal to teacher right and distinct so students right now for student in students right here we are and we will make this here right and then uh, we have teacher student message text and all the things right so uh, what we will do if message response let's say we will just send uh, here what we have hit what we are doing here message teacher object filter student count okay we don't need the count right so all right total messages we don't need the total messages message has been sent right so we have okay let's see now right so when we click on this uh, we are fetching the teacher id and uh, everything else is same group set message and we are doing this right so let's see click here this is for all students right now let's check this click here 
500 error okay so cannot assign student full course student must be student instance okay so student equal to student student enrolled enrolled list no uh, this will be enrolled dot student yep this should work now click here refresh the page send message send yes message has been sent let's click on this or let's see in the first of all database open database uh, lms lms api sqlite browse data teacher student chat so mm, refresh the page here this is uh, this is new message this is what we have sent sent it uh, this is group message right so send here we are message has been sent let's see oh oh wow can you see that okay now you click here if you refresh this this then here you can see that this is group message right because uh, this is two students this is the these are the same students because of some data testing so that it is showing two things right so our group message is working correctly okay so now in the next video we will work on the social profile okay and then we will uh, no i think let's uh, work social profile later let's work on the student to teacher message currently we have worked on the teacher to student now we will work on the student to teacher and we will also work on the notification right and then we will see what else is pending and we will try to complete and then we will start the next series i am also you know i am also uh, waiting for to start the next series that uh, as I am trying to complete as soon as possible then we will start the multi vendor e-commerce and that will be the great project and uh, I think uh, maybe 100 plus videos we will make okay so thank you so much for watching this video so please uh, help me via patreon and just uh, buy me a coffee okay and follow me on instagram and facebook and just send me your email id I will give you the access of the source code via github okay so thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.